hey my friend so this is an exciting day we're going to talk about creating your first well maybe not your first but creating and hosting a course for free on Click eCourse as you know I've been building a website that allows you to host courses it's also a social media platform it allows you to have a WordPress blog on there and there's a, a social component to it where there's things that get shared and there's a feed and it's it's a you know it's quite the thing and we're and it can be overwhelming to look at it if you haven't gone through the process but I assure you it's quite a simple process you can actually create an account for free you can host a course for free and you can you can share that with people and have people get on your course buy your course and all that it's all possible on this platform so we're going to show you that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so if you don't already know what Click eCourse is it's it's a platform to share and host online courses digital courses you know lessons and videos and audios and files and pdf files and ebooks and all that kind of stuff that you can host in a course the course is like a container of re relevant or related pieces of information right so you can have a course that teaches how to garden you can have a course that teaches how to lose weight teaches how to eat healthy teaches how to make money teaches how to set up your social media profile these are courses right and when we talk about say for example a course to learn how to host a course this is actually I'm going to do that right now I'm going to show you how to host a course and I'm actually going to take notes of when you know what pieces of the video that I'm recording right now and if you're listening to this as an episode I'll, I'll try to make sure I, I I spell out things or say things instead of just telling you because if you're in the listening because this episode is also in uh, audio format as a podcast but yeah so we're going to go and talk about that so let me just get my notebook here that I forgot to take I should have had it ready right over here already so I'm going to start with uh taking a note of where in the video that I'm recording right now that is the introduction and then I'm going to introduce the I'm going to introduce again because I want to take this and take pieces of it and create a course out of it right so let's say so intro is going to be at 248 or 250 or around there right hey Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to show you how to host your course for free on Click eCourse so we're going to talk about the steps you need to do the registration the the creation of the course the adding of the lesson we're going to talk about all that and you're going to see that in the next lessons all right let's get right to it all right so that was number one so that's up to uh two up to three ten or so right so the intro okay so now I'm going to do another I'm going to show you the the page and I'm going to show you the, the the registration process and how that all works right so let's uh, get that to it's about the so register we're going to go register is going to be right about at 3 37 or whatever that is all right so first thing first things first let's get to the site so the site is a click ecourse.com so let me just pop it up here on the screen where's my link for click ecourse click ecourse there it is so click ecourse.com you're going to go to that site and you're going to register an account and we're going to show you how to do that right now so let's just get the link out of there and let me share my screen to show you how that works so when you go to clickycourse.com you're going to end up on a page like this where we say welcome what what it is for marketers what it is for teachers we talk about the different things that you can do on the site and you're going to see a couple things that are interesting first of all on the very top you're going to see a logo you're going to see a leaders a feed and about a courses and a plans link on the very top uh, left of the screen and then on the very uh, top right you're going to see a register link and a login link and you're also going to see a green button under, a green plus button underneath at the very bottom of the page on the bottom uh, left you're going to see me saying hello it's basically a uh, logo on just it's a bot it's a chat bot so you can actually go and click it and you can actually 
have a conversation with our chatbot and that chatbot can help you to navigate the site and if you have questions that kind of stuff on the very bottom right you're going to see something that looks a little bit like a video or with a question mark that's basically where we're going to have some videos that help you through the site so depending on where you are that is going to show a different video it's actually going to start playing the video I'm just turning the sound off actually starts playing the video and you can close it or if you want to you can uh, let's mute it again hey welcome to <laughs> you can actually make that um in the pip what's called a pip which is picture in picture and then you can move it around the screen that kind of stuff right so we'll just uh, close that but that's that's basically the introduction to click eCourse the next lesson is going to be about registering your account all right so I did that I I should have done this is in this is uh, uh site intro and that was up to 550 555 and then we're going to do the register we're going to do the register now so that'll be at five at six ten all right six ten all right so now let's just do the register all right so now you're on the click ecourse site and you want to register an account because you know before you do anything you need an account to be able to create courses and that kind of stuff so what we're going to do we're going to click on the register link right there at the top right of the screen is that no top right of the screen <laughs> and um and basically what you've got to do in here is you got to put your email and a password I got a whole bunch of passwords already saved in my system but let's just put in a reg test uh, training I'm just going to call it web trust training or actually let's just call it training it's an email I have an email uh, a host that I can put whatever uh, email I want but in your case obviously you want to put the proper email and uh, because you're going to get a, an activation link in an email and that's what we do all we do is we go there we click on the register and then I'll save it and then it just tells you account created please check your email at training at fxos.com for a link to activate it I'm going to add it here too um, and then what happens if you go to your email I'm going to reload my email here and we're going to go to the email and you'll see there's an activation link in an email that you can just click on that'll just activate and log you in right so account activation on click ecourse is going to be the email if you don't see it please check your spam for accounts at clickecourse.com and there's going to be a link there that looks like this see this one clickecourse.com question mark u equals some number and ampersand k equals some number so that's it's going to be unique to you unique to you so it's you have to have a real email so you click on that and boohoo you're activated it'll tell you successfully activated your account a click on the on the little check mark and you're going to see at the very top where it says now you see you've got your profile on the top right and you're on the feed page so we're going to talk about the feed page and all that in the next uh well I'm not sure if we're going to talk about the feed but we're gonna we're gonna, we're talking about creating a course so let's get to creating a course right away in the next lesson all right so that's the uh let's see to 827 okay so now it's create course we want to create a course so we're going to create a course we're going to do that right now in the 840 around there all right so to create a course all you got to do is once you're registered oh sorry I'm going to start over um all right so now that you're registered and you're logged in you can actually create a course and you can just do that by clicking the big green plus on the right on the top right of the screen right there on the top right uh, you click on that and then you're going to have the option to create a course go to a to your blog or create a support ticket so you just click on the course and that opens up the course creation screen so the first thing you want to do in your course is you want to give it a title right so we're going to call it uh, creating free course or let's say hosting hosting free course so uh, ha learn how to host your course for free on click on click ecourse right so and then the de details can be as much as you want and by the way these are html editors so that means I can actually put uh, a link here I can say click ecourse I can make this a link I go in here and say HTS 
click ecourse.com I make this into a new blank target I submit that and now this is a link right the other thing I can do too is I can make these bold and so uh so you have a course you want to host somewhere somewhere every platform wants 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 your money either by monthly monthly or by sales with click ecourse you can host a course for free okay so that's kind of okay so now we have the title the summary and the details we click on next at the bottom the other thing you can do is you're going to go straight to the different tabs at the top as you can see there's an seo tab there's a header code tab there's a categories tab a cover image tab a price commission tab an access tab and a sales tab and there's also the option to show or hide the help right by default it's enabled and this is kind of tells you what the page is about you can go to the bottom and click on next which will save the whatever it's on you can also switch to advanced mode if you click on advanced mode what happens is that every single tab is just all on the same page and just scroll down and do it all in one right or I go back to the wizard mode oh I guess we couldn't see that oh, let's put my my video there so what I'm saying is switch to advanced mode there's a button here that says switch to advanced mode you switch it and now you can scroll all the way down you can go back to wizard mode by clicking here right all right so now we the search engine keywords is course creation so that's free course hosting course hosting site how to host your course for free best course hosting site uh, learn how to set up your course all right so I mean those are keywords search engine keywords hashtags we don't use but they, they'd be similar to that then under header code you can put things like a conversion bot id this 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 person down the bottom here that's me with my hand there that's actually a chat bot you can actually have your own chat bot you can set it up with your own chat bot if you want uh, under categories uh, you can set up new categories by just creating course creation right I'm just going to put that in there as a course creation and if I go back now that course creation is in the list right uh, I can uh, add uh, let's say what else can I put in here um, what else could it be Pinterest sales simple test course no testing that's no good I probably get rid of those things through test but anyways under cover image is where you would put a an image of your course uh so if I go back to say I think I had uh, create a course I already had a, a let's just use this one let's use this one here go next and uh, now this is the zero dollars is this is a free course I'm not going to charge for it you can charge for it if you want and then over here I can uh, make this course public or not under sales it's an advanced thing where you can actually put uh, your own html whole folder with images and everything else you want as a as a sales page and um and that's it so let's let's just do done right here now your course is created but you need to add lessons to it so we're going to add lessons to that in the next lesson okay so that's the host creation that's up to 13 minutes 13 minutes 58 I guess um let's make this 50. all right so now add lesson okay so now we're going to add lessons it's uh, going to be 14 15. okay so adding a lesson is is relatively straightforward but the idea you got to remember is that the course is the container right and within the container you can have lessons and files so files can be audios I gotta start over again because I forgot to say okay so let's go back so we're at 1435 all right so now that you have your course created you got to remember that you need lessons a course without lessons is is is, is nothing right it's like a, it's like a school without without courses or a school without teachers so lessons are the 
pieces that make up a course and a course can have lessons and can also have files and to add files we're going to talk about that in another uh, uh lesson but in this lesson we're going to talk about creating a lesson adding a lesson to your course is relatively straightforward you will see down the bottom of the screen here if I move my my face out of the way a little bit here let's move it here you're going to see that there's a lessons right there and a little plus next to the lesson the other option is you can go to the big green plus on the right there and you can have it you can click on the lesson which will let you add a lesson uh it's, it takes you to the exact same screen so this screen is pretty looks pretty complicated there's lots of stuff in there that you can put but in our case we're just going to put a YouTube URL down here in the URI field so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here I'm going to actually put in some of these lessons I already had before and I'm going to copy this over here get shareable link right and then I'm going to go back into here whoops that's the other tab go back into here and I'm going to put this in here all I do is that so here's the thing with the free account you can only put um links to videos hosted on YouTube on Facebook or on Vimeo you can't upload a video to the Click eCourse platform you can do that if you upgrade your account but so so this is this is what you do here you put the link to the URL you click on save and what that does the the platform goes and turns around and goes to the YouTube and goes and gets the thumbnail it gets the video um uh if well it doesn't it just gets the thumbnail and you link to the URL right so you see right here we got the link we got the and oh yeah that's what else it gets it gets the title from the YouTube video so if I look at the YouTube video itself right it's just an introduction video and it just says one introduction in the title so that title gets pulled into the uh the, the lesson and also the video the thumbnail that you chose in your video or the one that was automatically generated gets pulled in as a thumbnail as well so what you want to do once you've done that you want to edit this and you want to go in here you want to set the length of the video to whatever length it is this is one minute 16 or one minute 16 and I also want to publish this so I'm going to change the status to published I'm going to say save that and now if I go back to the course by clicking on the course link at the bottom now my course has got a lesson in it so that's how you add a lesson you can add a bunch of lessons there's uh, there's limits based on your platform on your plan but you can add lessons that way and that's all you got to do all right so that was the lesson so lesson up to what up to 1745 okay so now we're going to talk about adding a file so we're going to add a file to the course a file okay yeah let's do that we're going to talk about adding a file sorry I forgot that I wanted to uh so 18. okay so now that you have a course and you have a lesson well let's talk about adding a file so adding files to lessons is uh, to not to lesson but to courses basically you can add a, an mp3 file you can add a uh, an, an audio and like I said an audio file you can add a um an image you can add a, a document you can add whatever you want right you can add another video if you want it to be not a lesson you want it to be a set as like a bonus or something right you can add it in the file section if you want and the way that works is similar to the lessons you just you'll see there's a files plus right there you can click on that plus right there or you can go to the plus here and say file right here right so let's just click on the plus here to kind of show you the how that one works you click on the plus right here and now it's a file so the first thing is you have an image which would be the thumbnail of the file and then the actual file to upload you choose the file here so well let's go choose the file let's go let's add say for example this this uh I don't know let's what am I gonna add I don't want to add too big a file because it takes a while let's just add um let's just add this text here this text file jukebox let's do the Facebook live post okay so this is I'm going to give it a name here I'm going to say Facebook live post and I'm just going to say this is an example text file all right so when it's a file like this choose the file uh if I want to do a thumb like when I just save it like this and I don't do anything if I go back to the course you're going to see that the file is now there and it's in the list and it's just got a f for file as an icon if I click it uh it shows me the actual content right 
and that's kind of how you add a file now it can be an mp3 file it can be anything else in this case it was just a text file and it's in the course and we're going to yeah so that's it that's how you add a file and it can be any other kind of file so I got to what was it 2015 so adding a file all right so now what else can we talk about what else should we talk about let's talk about the platform a bit so maybe we talk about uh let's see um navigating the site okay let's do that navigating site that'll be starting at 2040. okay so let's talk about navigating the site let's just go back here actually let's go back to home so after you're logged in let's bring that to here so 20 okay so navigating the site so once you're logged in you're going to see what is what we call the feed and you'll see that the feed is full of different things on there as you can see in here there's going to be chain things like somebody who added a lesson you can see this is a lesson that was added to the discourse this is a profile picture that was updated this is a, a rating of a course this is again a new lesson added uh courses created profile picture set all that kind of stuff right so that's the that's the feed and the feed is basically to let you know what's going on on the site uh it's it's also where you can put you can post something and it'll show up in the feed and people will be able to see it's just kind of like Facebook LinkedIn all the other platforms have social media components this allows you to do that right which <laughs> and what you can do is on any of these you can actually click these things to go to them right so for example if I see a course uh, that was rated or I see a lesson that was added to a course um, or I see a new course that was published published a new public course right I can click that course and it takes me to the course so I'm just going to right click uh, open a new tab so we don't lose where we are but let's do that if I go to that course now you can see that's the course itself of that particular uh, that particular tab that particular you know feed item that I clicked right the uh, if I click on the on the lesson if it's a lesson that's been added it takes me straight to that lesson itself of the course now depending on whether I have access to the course or not it'll tell me that I don't have access to you going to buy it for example in this case right but that's uh, that's how that works let's close this one too the other thing is if it's a like a course like this this is a course that is free so I we, I guess you wouldn't necessarily know but I, I know it because it's one of my courses I created but I can go here and I can actually add a, if it's a free course I can just add it to my library right now I'm logged in as myself just going to add it to the library and now I have a course in my library and I can start the course now now that course is now in my library and I can actually play the course and watch it and that's just a little intro here but if I go back to the feed there so that's the feed we see this different these different things again the feed changes but the original uh content doesn't change right that's uh it's like an, an other social media platform now the other thing is if you go to the leaders tab the leaders tab is basically listing who's got points who's got total all-time points who's got leads who's got total leads right and leads increase over time who it is in the accounts that are on the site that have and eventually we're going to have some uh, some promotions for this you know maybe free free months or free upgrades or maybe even cash prizes I'm not sure but that's what that's for uh under courses you'll see all the courses of the site that are on the site that are public and you see all the courses and you can uh, search for certain courses like say I want to search for Facebook I can just do that it'll show me the Facebook courses I can search for LinkedIn I saw me the LinkedIn courses right that kind of stuff click this little x to clear the other thing you can do too is you can show the price I want to see the price of the courses you see the course the price of the courses right uh things like that okay so that's the courses if you click on any of these it takes you to the course itself you can either add it to your lesson add it to your uh library or watch some of the free lessons that are in there if they're if they're, some of the courses that are like this course at seven dollars right is uh a deal right now there's actually a free lesson right here you can actually watch the free lesson the rest you have to buy it right 
that's kind of how that works okay so and then under plans is where you're going to see how uh, what are the different things that you can get for the different plans right the free plan does include all these all these things all these things as well right so it includes all that um I can't I'm, I'm not I mean I can't I'm not going to read all that for I'm sorry if you're listening to the audio you should you're going to have to go check out the site clickequors.com and look at the plans tab to see what I'm talking about but there's a bunch of different options for the um for each of the plans and there's different prices so ten dollars a month thirty dollars a month seventy five dollars a month or 150 dollars a month for the plans that give you more more commission more uh, more courses for example you can learn you can um the number of courses you can create here's an example on the free plan you can create two courses on the ten dollar a month plan you can create 10 courses on the 30 dollars a month you can create 30 courses basically you can create one course per dollar I guess <laughs> 75 courses at 75 dollars 150 courses at 150 a month the other thing you can do too is you can create membership sites on the freest on the free account you can't create a membership site but on the on the ten dollar a month one you can create one on the thirty dollar a month you can create five etc right there's also a number of uh, maximum lessons you can create on the free course you can have up to 20 lessons that means if you had two courses you can have 10 lessons each or you can have one course with 15 lessons and the other one with five and if you want more than that you have to upgrade to the paid plans and it all shows that all here and in, in the plans page the other thing is that you're going to notice at the top of the page is there's a logout button if I click the logout button it logs me out of the site and then there's a notification and a messages uh, bubble if you will and if you click on notifications you'll see it shows you the notifications if you don't have any it doesn't show anything if you click on the messages if you have messages they'll show up right here right now it says I don't have any and if you click on your profile picture it takes you to your account so we're going to talk about the account setup in the next lesson so but that's the navigation or the general navigation of the site see you in the next lesson Okay, so that's navigating 27 20. Okay, so now set up account. Okay, so we're gonna talk about setting up the account now, and that's gonna be at 27:30. Okay. All right, so if you want to set up your account the right way so that people recognize you, they know who you are, so your name shows up when you create a course, that kind of stuff, you want to do that for sure. So at the very top, you're going to see there's a little profile picture with a little question mark in it. That's because you don't have a picture yet for your profile. So I'm just going to, you just click on that, it takes you to your basically to your profile page, right? So over here, you'll see that your profile picture is just a, a question mark, right? You click on the choose file right here and you choose a profile picture I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to create a and use one of my images that I have here and I'm going to use just this one here here let's just put this one I can click on save or update other things so one of the things you want to do here is Jean-Serge test uh that's my display name actually let's just call it testing site and my first name is test and site okay so uh, obviously you want to put your right name in there your right uh, first name last name that kind of stuff the user is test site I think that should be fine uh, but the user is what people will use to view any if you want to share the site and you want to get commissions you have a user id that you replace the www with so that should be something that you want people to recognize you from right it's the it's your user id if you will right there's a user id and there's a display name your display name is what shows up on the site when people see uh in uh, comments or posts or creation of new courses that kind of stuff they see that as the name right a short bio is a short bio of you right so you want to have something here this is just a test account to create a course right so I'm going to save that like this and now you'll see that it updates the uh the the profile picture uh there and also up on the side here you see the new profile picture right and uh, that also adds something in the news feed that shows that I updated my profile uh, picture <laughs> now the next thing is 
up here under security that's where you would set your password uh, I already set my password uh, to what I wanted so that's fine under details oh by the way let's not let's not worry let's go straight to affiliate you want to make money right you want to build a business and you want to have things you can sell well this is one of the things you can sell that the platform if somebody ever upgrades their account they will pay a certain amount every month because they want the features that that uh, upgrade gives them and you get a commission on that if you refer them right so but you have to be an affiliate you have to accept to become an affiliate you have to read and accept the terms of use you have to read uh, and and accept the rules of conduct right so under here there's the terms and the rules you got to make sure you accept those and you got to make sure you read them because legally we're bound by that right so if I go back to my account here uh under affiliate right so this is my display name my username is this my PayPal account I got to put my pay PayPal account test at I'm just going to put that uh of course it has to be a real PayPal account if you want us to send you money and then the other thing is you must you must set your PayPal account above you must set your address and details page so in the details page right the details page you got to set all this the address the city the country the phone number the gender the birth month and then in the time zone page you must set your time zone so we're just going to save that here and then we're going to go to the time zone page and we're going to set the time zone to uh, I don't know America Los Angeles I'm in Los Angeles there you go Los Angeles and then I'm going to go to the details page I'm going to fill in the rest of the stuff that it wants my address is 123 Main Street in uh, in Los Angeles well that's not going well Angeles California 90210 I don't know yeah I think that's right <laughs> USA phone number one two three one two three one two three four one two three four my gender is male and my date of birth is 1958 March 6. there we go okay so now I've set all the things that it wants if I go back to the partner now affiliates over here now I can see that everything's all done and all I need to do is I need to request to be an affiliate and I have read and agreed to the terms and rules and I click on save and now I'm an affiliate and what happens is now I have this link here that I can share testsite.clickycourse.com because I put the username as test site so if you want to if you want to have a username that's really matches your name well you should have a username that matches your name so people recognize you uh my own username is jsg because it's Jean-Serge Gagnon right and that's kind of how that works so now that you have that if you go to the courses this shows me the courses that I created if you, you know these tabs up here are your user account tabs right under here you've also got um, purchases commissions activity under activity you're going to see things like when you log in you're going to see things like when you um if I go back to the beginning here the very first part it says sent activation email registered new account I successfully activated changed my username right so all that stuff is all registered in the activity uh that's what the activity is for then under commissions there won't be anything but uh the commissions would be whenever you get a commission from a sale or from a referral of a, a user right the monthly fees uh, purchases would be where you would see whatever you bought uh under promos is you can actually create promotions if you want where we'll show that on the side of the screen there where you see those ads right uh, media is going to show whatever media you uploaded uh, and uploads or all media files uh, shows you everything that you like your profile picture and other things like that uh, there's no media files okay so you, you whenever you upload under programs I don't know if that works but programs is supposed to be uh, something where you can set a referral for something and like for example if there's a program where you get a commission by referring people to it you can we can integrate that into the site so that if we ever mention that program in any page anywhere it'll show your id instead of the the our id right or the, the other person's id under notifications is basically the list of notifications that occurred on your account there's none right now invites is only if the site is set to be an invite site so it's currently open to registration so there's no invites but we have that ability 
and then about videos courses and news and library that's where you have your courses you added like under libraries where you added courses to your library news is you can actually post a news uh, update here that's where you'll see things like updating your profile picture right uh videos is you can actually put videos in here that will be used as part of other other things on the site uh so for now that's 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 what that is and so yeah so that's the user account set up and um, let's move on to the next lesson we'll see you in the next lesson all right so that's up to 35 30. All right, so that was it. That was how to create a course on Clicky Course. And I'm actually going to be taking this apart, putting it together as a course on the site. And so that if you want to know how to create a course, you'll be able to just watch this course, at least the parts that you just saw. And if uh, and if you have any questions, just go ahead and reach out. We'll let let me know and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.